This is an Expansus USA look at the BlackBerry Bold. I'm going to go ahead today and just do a quick walk around of the device, show off some of the interface and um, just the build factor on the unit itself. If you want any of the specs, they are available at expansus-usa.com. So let's go ahead and start at the left side of the device. Here you can see that we do have a nice 3.5 millimeter dedicated headphone jack. This is great for listening to all the music that you store on your unit. Um, and you can store quite a bit of it, and I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, below that, we do have our USB port. This USB port can be used for data syncing your device to your computer if you want to grab files, uh, transfer your music, um, grab any emails that you might have sitting on your computer. Anything of that nature can be done with that port, as well as charging the device, of course. Next to that, I'm going to go ahead and push this button. Here it says, say a command. You can say call in the person's name, and it will call them. So a nice little voice, voice command button there. And then we do have our memory port here, and that will store up to 16 gigabytes on a micro SDHC port. So it's a lot of added memory that, um, that you get out of the device there. Um, on the bottom, we have our battery release button. And then over here, we have our camera button. I'm going to go ahead and just push that camera button. And there's your 2 megapixel camera. The camera isn't the best. If you push the button again, it'll take a picture. Um, it's okay on the fly, but you're going to notice some undertones and overtones since it is such a... Uh, a small megapixel. And then here we have the rocker, so you push up and down on that. And then at the top here we actually have our standby button. Now this is a great feature. If I go ahead and push standby on this unit, what it'll do is it'll actually put it into standby mode. And now if I try to use the track button or any of the buttons, it's not going to do anything. So that's a great way to present, prevent yourself from uh, dialing if you have the phone in your pocket and not on a holster. And then if I push it again I can remove that. Now here you can see on the front of the device we actually have the call button. And then we have this button right here, which brings me into all of my different menus. So I can go down, I can turn off the device from the software, I can lock the unit, um, I can use all the options, I can go into my Wi-Fi settings um, and manage all of my connections that I have in there. It does have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, you can look at your mobile network connection. So nice little feature added in there as well. I'm going to go ahead and just click back out of there. As you can see with the trackball here, I do have some of my options on the bottom. For instance, I can click on my calendar. That's going to bring up my calendar. I can get out of there. Um, you can bring up the web. All of the different features right from that part of the device. If you push up here, I can also go up to my volume. I can set loud, vibrate, quiet, so I can actually set the mode. And by pushing on the trackball, I can actually um, select the options on the actual unit. And that's pretty typical on BlackBerry. One thing I do like is that the trackball seems to be a little more optimized than it has in the past. It seems to respond a little better than some of the past BlackBerry units. And then, of course, down here we do have our very nice QWERTY keypad. This is something that uh, BlackBerry users have known for quite a while now. Um, nice beveled edges, so it's a lot easier to type on these keyboards than it is on some other devices that have keyboards as well. Um, also, flipping over to the back of the device, there's that 2 megapixel camera. It does have a flash. Um, no autofocus on it, which is um, kind of a letdown. And uh, no, no speaker on the back of the device either. Um, which which I would have liked to have seen. Um, outside of that, that's pretty much a quick look at the device. You can see that it does have a nice design, kind of a weird leather back on it um, compared to the sleek part of the front, but I guess that does keep it from uh, scratching up against maybe a plastic holder if you're using something like that, uh, making it a little easier to use. Again, if you want more information and some specs on the BlackBerry Bold, uh, be sure to check out expansis-usa.com. We do have some specs as well as some user comments and also a list of reviews you can take a look at for the device.